Hi, this is Peter Grenader, and uh, now that it's 97% done, I thought it would be a good time to give you an overview of my life rig, uh, which is a combination of a lot of my stuff, Plan B here, a lot of purchase stuff, um, and I, with a warning, I have tried to do this about a thousand times, but you know, one of the quaint things about living in downtown LA Art District, uh, I'll be it in a nice loft, is that uh, you're in downtown Los Angeles in the art district, which means at any given time, there's 17,000 dogs going off or obnoxiously loud motorcycles ridden by young guys that haven't figured out yet that young women can't stand those goddamn things. Uh, sirens, people screaming, laughing. But you know what? I have lost my patience. So we're going to approach this like a chance piece, knowing whatever happens, happens, and you're part of the audience. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'll go over the eight, just scan over the eight rows. You can pause if you want to see what they consist of specifically. Um, again, a lot of my stuff, but that wasn't my concern. If it was plan B or ear, I've purchased a lot of stuff. I felt if I went there, that would be infantile. The important thing was the final result and having a adequate contribution in a live environment with a limited small ensemble. And I think I've done that. Uh, these were, this was put together specifically with my work with the Zizek Society, which currently has six members, Jill Frazier, Chaz Smith, Thai Paul Sander, myself, and <clears throat> those guys. So, let me give you a quick rundown here. Um, I, I dropped some coin on this, but that wasn't important. Again, my deal was my palette and multi-tambral ability. So I could have a few things running at once, I would have limited patch reset up between pieces, I also use a Roly keyboard with their Ecuador software because you can't do everything on a modular and sometimes you need things pull, uh, you know, in polyphony. And this does this for me easier. Uh, you may find this interesting, you may not. Boring compliment, interesting compliment. We all have our shtick here. But let me give you an overview of the stuff I purchased. The four voice, two nebulae. I now have these two processors to augment my two models 14 so there's talking people uh together with the six processors uh dual envelope generator here the shapeshifter a second dofer envelope detector which for me anyway was absolutely critical i have the um, manual triggers via a dofer unit here and i'm waiting for the reflex live loop which if it's anything like its demo videos i cannot wait it will give me a third delay, which will be great, plus a second means of generating real-time looping. Okay, uh, let's continue. I purchased this many months ago, this dual digital oscillator for, specifically for live performance. Uh, it's okay, it's low res, you know, the DX7 was low res, it sounds great. This has its qualities, its earthiness because it's low resolution. Uh, I'm pulling this Model 12 simply because I'm in desperate need of mixers. I'm gonna build a second Model 9. I have a mixer here, but you know, the good folks at Flame didn't feel they needed to add a summed output. Thank you. So I'm forced to use a mixer or, you know, to get easily take advantage of the four voices. Um, I'm getting rid of this guy for that mixer because I, I feel it's okay. I have a dual Model 12 Mark II here and my Steiner filter. Three filters for the work I do is just fine. So now let me give you an idea of this patch. This is what I use in the piece Benghazi. Uh, all of the electronic sound in that piece are a mashup or a derivative or taken from a single sample of a Glenn Beck diatribe where he's blathering about the terror attacks in Benghazi, Libya. Okay, um, so I have that speech loaded in the two nebulae. The uh, Playback and direction of each are independently controlled by two Heisenberg generators, which are being paced by two Dofer envelope detectors, which are reading the original source file. So the, the source material itself is pacing the changes of both axes. They're being gated through uh, tambral, two tambral gates, driven manually by this guy, and two envelope detectors are creating that control voltage it needs. You notice we're coming out of the summed output here, it then goes to my first delay. This actually was the first prototype of the 27, which I showed at the 
God, 2006 NAM show. You notice it still has paper a paper covering on the faceplate. It then goes to a third low pass gate, which is to be driven by a audio almost audio level triangle LFO to give it granularization. Sounds really nice. And then to my second generation uh, Model 27 After Effects generator. This is a delay. You'll hear it's very obvious. And then it goes through a panner, which you don't care about because this is a crappy iPhone and it's all in mono. So let's uh, give it a listen. Now, sometimes these are in reverse, sometimes they're forward, sometimes they're high pitch, sometimes they're gargles, and sometimes you get stuck in the silence in between. So let's hope we don't get that. <laughs> There you go, there's a short sample. Above that, I have a drone plane, which is another iteration of this patch that plays throughout. Uh, again, this is for the Zesus Society. If you're curious, go to zesussociety.com. Uh, you can find out what we've done. You can see some performances, what we've done in the past. As individuals, I am humbly a part of this group, as I will say that all three other members are much more accomplished in every regard as I. Um, we're available for concerts, tours, weddings, bar mitzvahs, and of course, funerals. Okay, have a great day.